Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 3-1 of November 2022 of A-Level Math. Obviously, uh, in this video, we'll try to explain everything as detailed as possible. And with that being said, let's move on to the questions we have for you today. Let's move on to question number one. So here we have to sketch the graph of y equal to modulus 2x plus 1. Now, obviously, we can uh, sketch this in many ways. So one of the ways is we can first assume we don't have modulus so y equal to 2x plus 1 for example right we are we are trying to sketch this graph first and then eventually find the modulus graph now i can try to find some values or find two points to sketch a line now let's say x equal to the value of of uh, 2 y will be the value of a 5 x is the value of minus 2 y will be the value of minus 3. There you go, so we have two points, we have two passing points, we can sketch the curve pretty easily. Here we have a line actually, not the curve. So here we have to sketch the axis, so we have the y-axis. And we have the x-axis. Okay, now let's scale this. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. So minus 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 0. 1, 2, 3, for here we have to label this as your y-axis. This is the x-axis. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 4. So basically to, to sketch a line, we just need two passing points. The first point is 2, 5. So 2 is here. And 5 will be this one. That's the first point. Now the second point is minus 2, minus 3. So minus 2. Minus 3 should be right here. Okay, now we can join these two to form the line first. This is my line as seen right here. Okay, so one thing we can do now is we can check, okay, where does it cut my x-axis? At x-axis, y is 0. So x will be the value of minus half. So let's label this as minus halfway meets my x-axis now right here on the y-axis x is 0 y will be the value of 1 so the y-intercept will be at 1 right here okay, so this is step number 1 so this is the graph of y equal to 2x plus 1 now we do know we have to sketch the graph of modulus modulus just means everything below the x-axis will reflect upwards so here we have the point minus 2 minus 3 so it will become minus 2 3 instead that's the idea behind these questions here we go so the point will reflect to the other direction and you will have this one as your answer so finally your answer will be the red line and not the other one okay so label this as your graph Red one will be y equal to modulus 2x plus 1. Now, see this question, obviously, we should know this line, the equation is y equal to 2x plus 1. And what is the equation of this line? It is y is equal to minus 2x minus 1. Fair enough. But again, for now, only the red line and label this as your graph of part A. Now for part B, we have to solve this inequality. Um, as you can see, this is what this is, your graph you just sketched. And here we have the other equation. Now there's many ways of solving this. One is by uh, obviously um, squaring both sides, one by one, check the answer at the end, or we can just use the graph we just did. So let's call, this one is the graph we have already, and this one is y equal to 3x plus 5. Now let's try to sketch this, this graph, so that will be, when x is the value of, let's say, uh, minus 2, the value of y is minus 1. 
What next is the value of 2? Well, I guess it will be too much, so let's use something else. What next is the value of 0? Let's find the intercept. Y will be the value of 5. So let's use these two points to sketch this graph. It will be minus 2, minus 1. Minus 2, minus 1 should be right here. And then we have 0, 5 should be right here. Again, there's many ways of solving this question. I'm just using this way because we have a graph here. We can show exactly what's happening. That's why I'm using the graph method. Now my line will be something like this. This is the line of y equal to 3x plus 5. Now we can see that this line, it will meet with this line over here. Now what is the point of intersection? Let's find out by using, of course, substitution, we can find this. So this is, why is this? Why is this replace? You will have minus 2, x minus 1 is equal to 3x plus 5. Send this over here, this over here, you will have minus 6, and that will be the value of 5x. So x will be the value of minus 6 over 5. So the x value here will be, what they meet is minus 6, or 5. Now the goal is to know for what values of x is this graph less than the modulus graph. So basically for what value of x, so horizontally, the blue graph will be below the red. As you can see, the blue graph is only below on the left hand side of this value. So therefore you would say this is only true according to your graph when x is less than minus 6 over 5. We can see that's only one the blue graph is below that, that of, the, of the red graph. This is your answer for part B, and this is your question number one. Now let's move on to question number two. On a sketch of an organ diagram, shade the region whose points represent the complex number Z, satisfying this, this, and this. So one by one. For the first one, we have to write Z minus, of course, there's nothing here. That will be 0 plus 0i, zero less than 3. So whenever it is in this form, I can understand why this is. This is simply a circle with center 0, 0 and radius 3. Now for this one, it's pretty easy. It will be a, the vertical line. And the value of real value of z has to be the value of minus 2. Now for the last one, it's just basically arguments. So let's try to sketch this one. So let's try, we have a, of course, the axis, the real axis, and the imaginary axis. Okay, so let's go. This is the point O. So for the first one, you can see it has to be a circle, center O. This is my center right here. And radius have to be 3. So let's count. 3 in each direction. That should be 3 right here. That should be 3 right here. And 3 as well on these direction. 3 and 3. It's quite big. So let's try again. So of course, I'm trying to use freehand, but again for you, if you have a compass, please use that to sketch your circle. So 1, 2, 3 should be this one, 1, 2, 3, right here, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, right here. Okay, it will not be perfect because I'm trying to use freehand method, but for you, try your best to use a compass so you can have a perfect circle for your answer. Feel free to skip this part. I'm just drawing a circle right here. It will take some time. So feel free to skip this one until the end of this answer. So we have to draw. I'm trying to draw the lines to form this circle. 
Here you go. Finally, almost done. Okay, so here you go, and here we are finally. This is my circle again. It's supposed to be perfect, it's not perfect, but you get the idea. Have to be a circle with radius three. Three here, three i, minus three and three. So here we have to have a vertical line at z minus two. Have to be this one. Minus two had to be a vertical line. Cool. And then for this one, have to be argument of z has to be pi and pi by four. So pretty easy. Pi by four is what? It is 45 degrees, have to be exactly in the middle. So let's use a few points here. That should be on, the, let's use red color. This one, 45 degrees should pass exactly in the middle. The line y equal to x. There you go. Now this is 45, and 180 obviously is this one. This is zero and pi, right, 180. That should be this one, which is my other line for my argument of z. Now let's shade the region that we need to shade accordingly. So for the first one, we can see it has to be inside of the circle. That's the first one. Second one has to be on the right hand side of this one. So inside and right hand side of this one right here. Then finally, between those two have to be between the these two. So combining everything together, you will have to shade inside the circle on the right hand side of the vertical line, but inside the red line. So you will have this as your answer. Of course, including the lines, the borders as well for this one. And this will be your answer for question number two. Now let's move on to question number three. So here we have to solve the equation, giving your answer in the form of this one. So one by one, let's try to solve this one. Uh, so we have to apply ln on both sides. You will have ln of 2, 3x minus 1 equal to ln of 5 times 3 power minus x. Now obviously by the laws of logs, we can simplify this. So we should know when you have ln of a power x, we can send the power in front that will be x ln of a. Similarly, this will become 3x minus 1 ln of 2 is equal to. Now, but first here we can break it down. We should know ln of ab is equal to ln of a plus ln of b. That will be ln of 5 plus ln of 3 power minus this one. Of course, send the power. Right here, you will have ln of 5 minus x ln of 3. Now you can expand this one that you have, 3x ln of 2 minus ln of 2. Now send, send all the x to one side, you will have 3x ln of 2 plus x ln of 3 is equal to ln of 2 plus ln of 5 plus ln of 2, sorry. Now we can factorize the x outside, x factorize, that will be 3 ln of 2 plus ln of 3 is equal to ln 5 times 2 will be 10. Now obviously here you have what? 3 go up, ln of 8 plus ln of 3, that should be ln of 10. That will be ln of what? 24 is equal to ln of 10, so therefore x will be the value of ln of 10 divided by ln of 24. And this is your answer for question number three in this form. The description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.